Well, a new study by the City of Bend shows which parts of town could be transformed into climate-friendly areas. Dylan Anderman shares what's in store for the future of Bend. Climate-friendly areas are places like the Old Mill where it's easy to get around without a car, reducing emissions. Rezoning in the designated areas would allow for more housing. Transportation and land use are two big contributors towards greenhouse gases. So the state and now the city are looking at ways to build the city that reduce the amount of energy required. Brian Rankin is a planning manager for the city of Bend studying where to create climate friendly areas. The state of Oregon requires cities to create the areas for reducing greenhouse gases. Central Oregon Land Watch is also on the planning. So Bend is one of the fastest growing places in the state and the country. And so climate friendly areas they're a great tool for directing and managing that growth with intention and in ways that really enhance and preserve our livability. The Hickson at Westside Yard is a good example of what the multi-use CFAs could look like. With several businesses located just underneath and around the apartments, it's a highly walkable neighborhood. With a climate-friendly designation, the city will be able to change code to build multi-use districts like the Hickson. Ten areas in Bend are being considered as candidates for the climate-friendly designation by 2025 at the earliest. Community input is welcome. So we've heard pretty much a really wide variety of, of types of input. A little bit of, we love it, some people don't like it so much. Um, and that's, I think, again, very Bend. You know, we have a lot of different opinions here. And so we're trying to pull all that together as we're studying this and as we're moving forward with designation. Uh, and I think what's great about CFAs is that it really helps us respond to both our housing crisis and our climate crisis. The study of the climate friendly areas will be presented in part to the Bend City Council during a Wednesday work session. It's required to be sent to the state before January 1st. Well, how can the community give its input, Dylan? On the city's CFA webpage, they're open to a virtual open house and that's where you can input your your thoughts. All right. Thank you very much, sir. Well, we want to know your thoughts right now. Do you support changing Ben's codes to establish climate-friendly areas? To weigh in, head over to our web poll on the KTVZ.com homepage.